Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. As you know me, I'm your, I'm your boy Kausu. Um, the points that I want to talk about and the research that I make is why Gambian girls are not serious in relationships. Why Gambian girls, there are a lot of issues regarding the unseriousness in their relationship. is the nation. Now, I, w I was talking to a lot of people about the issues, you know, concerning about uh, uh, the unseriousness of many girls uh, in, in this country. And then, during my investigation, I have come up with some of the points that I want to share with you uh, that will benefit you uh, in the nearest future or the younger ones that are coming uh, in order for them to not to fall in um, that trap. One issue that Gambian girls have, or the one problem they have, you know, you know, that is they are not content. Not to precisely to talk about contentment, but their demand is more than the supply. This word, you know, is a big word. But when I want to uh, summarize this, that, that their demand is more than the supply is that, uh, one, they are not content. They are not content of whatever they have. Also, they want to be stylish. Fashion is their problem. How can you be fashioned when yourself, you are poor? You cannot provide even a makeup for yourself. A makeup, you all know that now is very expensive. Face, you know, makeup is, it's sometimes it costs you $250. As per individual, you are not even working. Whom do you expect? Because I know if it is not correct or Tawaski, you don't expect your parents sometimes to give you such kind of money. And we all know that the condition of this country, how poor the country is and how poor the economy of this country is. You don't expect every day or every week your parents to be giving you that money to all the dollars you to be making in account. So whom do you expect to be giving you? When I say it, uh, uh, their demand is more than the supply is that they are not only going to stick to one person because if your demand if what you are demanding is more than your supply what do you do you look for more goods that means you are going to look for more boys again and then that will determine the type of person you are whether you are a gold digger or a wife material this will reflect you on future this is why we have a lot of unserious girls in this country. Example, you have a birthday party. Now, before, we all know that, you know, if somebody, uh, to celebrate your day, the day that you get you were born, it's not a problem. It's not a big deal. How people celebrate it was not that much, you know, big, gallant, uh, lavish to spoil a lot of money, you know, buying. 800 cakes or 1,000 or 2,500 cakes before we don't know that but now you can see a single lady will invite 150 people and then he or she will expect you know to do things that will be so uh, to herself magnificent that you know uh, that will make her that you know thinking that you know Everybody will be talking about her in the society about only the birthday and sometimes how the birthday costs only God knows. So whom do you think will provide all those resources for you? So if you think that you know you are going to party or you are going to celebrate your birthday for almost uh, 5,000 or 10,000 <laughs> you don't expect most of your parents to be giving you that. So you expect who? The boys. And luckily, if your boy is not that much uh, strong financially, what do you do? You try to struggle to look for more boys. That also becomes one part of your unseriousness to chase for uh, many boys in the society. And then another problem that they have, they want to look good every day. <laughs> My friend, and this is not this is not the West, where you will be changing your clothes every week or every two weeks or every month in africa here what we know is that we are always uh, proud of our old clothes 
So for you, if you want to be proud of your new clothes also, that requires your resources. And who is going to provide those resources? You are going to look or you are going to do something that is that are not in line with accordance of what you have to do. So this also makes them unseriousness to look for more boys in order to gather money from them to buy new clothes. There are a lot of things, a lot of different, different, different issues, you know, regarding the unseriousness of girls in this country. But these are the little researches that I have with my boy. You know, it's just that, you know, we want to make this as And then uh, I think I will conclude here. I will conclude here. And then my advice for my sisters, my beloved sisters, my beloved uh, uh, dearest sisters, is that, you know, uh, for them to get rid of all this mess, all these issues, you know, girls has to be content. Be content of whatever you have. You know, be responsible. Be a responsible, independent lady. You don't allow man to control your life. You don't, man, you don't allow anybody. You don't allow anybody to dictate your life for you. If you allow somebody to give you whatever you desire, that person will also look something desirable in you. And then sometimes that may, you know, leads to negative, you know, side, negative effects on you. And let me tell you one thing. Don't allow anybody to tell you that you cannot do something. My friend, people will do something by themselves and they will make you feel that you cannot do. You cannot do challenges. You cannot face challenges in your life. This is your life. This is your life. And then nobody can chase it for you. I, did, I, 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 I just advise you you go for it, whatever challenge is there, you go and face it, you can do it. Please, this is the advice that I have for my own, my dear sisters. And I thank you all. And I think that you know you will take the advice from me. To be a gold digger is something very dangerous. And I pray that you become a wife material in the future. I thank you.